In this video, let us learn about classes in Python. Python is an object-oriented programming language. Object is an instance of a class. So what is a class? To make it easier to understand, class is like a blueprint of a house. As blueprint has various information regarding the house, so does the class. For example, the blueprint of a house has various information like height, square foot, number of doors, etc. In class, such information are called members and attributes. The blueprint can be used to build multiple other houses. These houses are nothing but objects. Objects of the same class have the same attributes and same methods as of their class. But values may be different. Say one house object might have 1200 square feet and the other object might have 1400 square feet. Here is the syntax of class. Let's see how to write the class house. As you can see, the class house has two attributes, square feet and price. The init function is nothing but an initializer function. It initializes the object it creates. This function always takes one argument, self. Self is referred to the object being created. Self is like this in Java or C++. Here, display function is written to display various attributes of the class. And as you can see, these attributes are accessed by using the dot syntax, like self.price. Now, to initialize your object of class house, all you need to do is as depicted here in the slide. You can call methods and access attributes of the object by using the dot notation, like object.method. Modules are Python files with dot .py extension. Module contains definition of functions, classes, and variables. Module can be accessed by using import statement. Writing Python module is very simple. First, create the file with .py extension. Second, write your module. Third, now access the module in another program and all you need to do is use the import command with the file name of the module without the extension. Let's see all these happening. Here is how you can create your module. You can define variables, functions or class in your module. And now, to access this module, let's see how we can do that. In the main program, use the import statement to import the module as described earlier. And then you can use its variable class functions as defined in the example. All you have to do is module name dot variable to access a variable. To access function, do module name dot function name and for class, module name dot class name. 